Hello, I'm Aaron Purvis, and I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of ProTread. Let's start as though we're an employee, like a driver, a dispatcher, or a warehouse worker. Here we are in the login screen. Users who take training log in on the left. Admins who run reports and manage users, assign training, log in on the right. So let's log in really quick. We save you a lot of time with user management because you don't need to manually add each new user. We know there's lots of driver turnover, so just send us a list of users and we'll add them into the system for you. We also have several web APIs that allow your HR systems and driver management systems to automatically update ProTread. You can add and remove users, and it'll automatically keep everything up to date. Once you've logged in, you get to the main menu, where you can either go to the list of lessons, or you can view your training history. Here you'll see a list of the lessons that are in progress or that have been assigned to you as an individual by your fleet. ProTread saves your progress as you go through a lesson and lets you pick back up where you left off, even if you're using a mobile device or an in-cab unit. Down here, you might see a custom menu of lessons that have been assigned to your group or company. Because it's based on a group ID, it lets the admin assign a lesson like winter driving to your team in Montana but have your team in Florida focus on something else. And finally, you'll see all the lesson categories we offer. There are over 100 lessons covering 15 different categories. Some highlights include nearly 40 different CSA lessons covering each of the basics, four in-depth hazmat courses that count toward recurrency training, 20 OSHA, warehouse, and forklift lessons that cover safety topics like safe lifting, warehouse safety, forklift basics, and liftgate safety. And we've broken out the four entry-level driver training courses required by the FMCSA. For now, let's dive into everyone's favorite topic, CSA. Here you can see our CSA overview lesson and all the lessons that apply to each CSA basic. Like all our courses, they're made to be quickly updated when regulations change, typically within 72 hours or sooner. Here's a little factoid for you. Seven of the top 10 CSA violations could be prevented with a better pre-trip inspection. This lesson is in progress, so it starts us where we left off last time. I'll let it run for a minute so you can get an idea of what our training is like. Lower fifth wheel. Is it lubricated? Is it securely mounted in good shape with all of its parts? There should be no visible space between the upper and lower fifth wheels. Locking jaws should be fastened around the shank of the kingpin, not the head. The release arm should be in position and the safety lock engaged. Upper fifth wheel. Is the guide plate firmly mounted on the trailer frame? The kingpin should be solid with no bends or wear. Air and electrical lines to the trailer. Okay, I'm just going to mute and talk over it. Note that drivers can't simply fast forward through the lesson. That's because ProTread is mastery-based training. That means that every few pages through the lesson, we stop and ask a question related to the content. If you get it right, you move forward. If you get it wrong, you go back. Make sure the fifth Each section is short enough for even the shortest attention spans, while cementing the knowledge. The cab, Every question the is used as another opportunity to reinforce the training to the driver. Right rear tractor wheel the questions wheel relate to the material, at the back as the do the correct and incorrect responses. Everything in the course is about the best transference of training possible. For you, mastery-based training means 100% driver compliance. In the real world, if the driver has an incident or an accident, you can point back to the training records that we keep and say, this safety issue was covered in training. The driver was asked about it, and they gave the correct answer. When you use ProTread, plaintiff attorneys can't say your company hasn't made a good faith effort to train your drivers. I'm going to jump back to one of our checkpoints in this lesson. Some of our training uses simulations rather than quizzes. These exercises reinforce good habits in your drivers. This section teaches the drivers what to look for on the right side of the truck during a pre-trip inspection. And you can see that for each part of the truck they check, the exercise repeats the details from the earlier training. You can also flip to the CSA tab to see what the exact regulations are for each part of the truck and trailer. So that's what your drivers or employees will experience with ProTread training. If you'd like a full demo to explore, just contact us at instructiontech.net. Now let's log in over on the admin side to see what your day-to-day -day life is like managing ProTread. There are two primary tasks most admins do, reporting on progress or managing users. 
We'll start with managing, which lets you assign lessons or edit your users. To edit a user, you search for them first. Then you can either deactivate them or move them to a different group ID, such as if they've moved from your Salem Distribution Center to your Portland, D.C. And not to beat a dead horse, but if you're using a driver management system or an HR system, you shouldn't need to do any of this. Our technical team can work with you to ensure the data is synchronized automatically. Let's click back out and talk about assigning lessons. There are three ways, either assigning it to an individual or to a group ID or to the entire company. We'll start with the individual. Type in their user ID and start assigning lessons. The lessons will remain in the in progress or assigned lessons category until completed. When you assign lessons by group, it's a little different. You first choose the group, then select the lessons. Assigning like this will instantly add the lesson to everyone's lesson list. Also, lessons assigned to a group reset to incomplete every 360 days so your training stays fresh. Let's slide back out of managing and look at reporting. We'll start with monthly usage. This screen gives you a simple way to see how many lessons have been taken in any given month over the past year. And last, I'll back out and jump into the reports menu. Here you can really dig down into the data. The report builder lets you filter the data lots of ways, as you can see here. When lessons are assigned to a group or company-wide, you can generate a compliance report. This report will generate a list of users in a selected group or company-wide and display their completion status and date completed for each assigned lesson. This way you can get a quick glimpse at who has or has not completed the assignment. For each user, you can print out and distribute certificates of completion for your team. Or you can find out which team earned a barbecue by finishing its training first. And of course, you can export your report manually. Or work with our team to automatically import the data into your own driver management system. We have several web services available for this and provide custom integrations all the time, usually for no extra cost. So that's ProTread. We've built it to be the least expensive way to get the best training to the most drivers. It's also incredibly flexible and capable. We welcome your ideas about integrating it into your fleet safety program. If you would like a free, full access demo, or if we can answer any questions, please contact us through our website at instructiontech.net. Thank you.